Hi, my name is Kristen and I'm addicted to buying clearance plants. It's true. I see a clearance plant rack and I buy clearance plants. I can't help myself, especially when I know I could take a plant like this and divide it up to make many more plants for free. So if you'd like to learn how to take clearance plants like these and divide them up to fill up your garden or start a side hustle for pennies on the dollar, then let's dig in. This is what I'll be dividing today. We have some hostas, salvia, coral bells, a daylily, and some ornamental grass. If you're a fan of buying clearance plants, then tell me in the comments what's the best plant that you got at the cheapest price. For me, it was a little hottie hydrangea that I got in a three gallon pot last year for about 80 cents. I love it, it's beautiful. But speaking of little hottie hydrangeas, you're not allowed to divide or propagate patented plants. Little hottie is a patented plant, so I'm not able to propagate from it, but it looks great in my garden. When you're choosing plants from your clearance rack, if you know that you wanna divide them, you wanna look for plants that have multiple stems. This one would not be a good candidate because it really only has like one group of stems. However, this one on the other hand has many groups of stems. So this is going to be easy to divide and make many plants from. Let's get started. Here's what you're going to need. You'll need some potting soil, which I have here in my bin. I like to wear garden gloves. It's up to you if you want to wear them. I have a hoary hoary knife here that I'm going to use in case any of the roots are really tangled. You are better off using your hands. And if you don't have a knife like this, that's okay. You don't need it. A pair of garden snips like this will work just fine. This is a great knife because you can see it has measurements on it. It has a serrated side and a sharp side. So if you are interested in getting a knife like this, you don't have to get it in pink. I just like pink. Um, I'll leave a link in the description. But again, you don't need to spend extra money in order to do this. You're also going to need some pots. You wanna have these ready to go because you don't want your plants sitting out of the soil for a long period of time if you could avoid it. You definitely don't want the roots to dry out. So I have some of these four and a half inch square pots ready to go, but I also have pots of some other sizes available just in case any of the root clumps are really big and won't fit in these. I prefer these because they're space saving. They fit really nicely in my hoop house and I'm able to fit a lot of plants together, but you can use any pots that you have laying around. If you are gonna use a used pot from something that you planted already this season, just give it a quick rinse, maybe sanitize it a little bit so you don't spread any plant diseases. All right, let's go. I'm gonna start by taking this hosta out of its pot and then dividing it up. Give it a good squeeze, loosen up those roots. This guy was totally root bound, look at him. He's going to really benefit from being divided up and replanted. Now I'll be replanting today in pots because it is super hot out here. It's very humid and we're expecting a heat wave to continue. So I don't wanna plant these guys and have them be in, hot, in a hot, dry climate. Um, if you're watching this video in the fall, you can absolutely go ahead and plant them in your landscape. Or if you're like me and you're gonna to try to sell some of these, you can pot them up and put them up for sale sometime next year. So I'm gonna to try to tease these apart first with my hands. If that doesn't work, then I'll go to the clippers or the knives. But you can see there's all different groups of stems here. So I'm gonna divide each fan of stems into a new plant. And it's going to be time for the knife. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to cut down the center first in between two groups of stems. I 
I gave all of these plants that I'm dividing today a really good soaking last night so that they would be, now I'm going to use my snips. I got a couple of roots here that are really tangled. All right, there we go. So there's one clump. Now I can further divide this because you can see there's a whole nother clump here. And this one, I could maybe divide into three because there's three clumps, but I'm gonna stick with two because this one clump is really pretty small. All right, there we go. All right, so I got my two clumps. I'm gonna keep this one as just one big clump and I'm going to repot. So now I'm gonna take this flower off. I really should have done that first, sorry guys. because you don't want any of these plants focusing their energy on the flowers. You want them really focusing on root development. All right, so I'm gonna stuff all the roots in this pot. You want them to face down, of course. And I'm gonna pot up this guy. Can you see him? And then when I'm done, of course, I'm going to water all these in really thoroughly. Hey, okay, that's one down. I left the screen open before, and unfortunately now there is a ton of mosquitoes in here with me. <laughs> so you can watch me pot up these plants while I get eaten alive. All right, that's number two. And this last guy is clump number three. So from one plant, one hosta plant, we got three. And this one honestly could be divided again, but two of the divisions would be so small. I feel like it's kind of not worth it. Let's see, do you think he'll fit in one of these pots? Nope. All right, this last big clump is not gonna fit in one of my four and a half inch square pots. So I'm going to use this bigger pot to pot him up. Make sure you get all those roots down in there. You don't want them sticking up and being exposed to the air. And it's okay to cut some of the roots if you need to. All right, so from one plant to three plants, pretty quick. All right, I'm just gonna take this soil and mix it back in with my mix. Waste not, want not, right? All right, next we're gonna tackle this daylily. Now I love daylilies, but you can see this guy has already flowered. Here's the stem where his flower was. I'm gonna go ahead and cut back all this foliage just to make it easier to work with. All right, this will go in my compost pile. All right, I'm going to take him out of the pot. Let's see what we have. Oh, he came out really easy. Okay, so I'm going to put this pot in reserve so I could reuse it. All right, and here, is, here are the clumps. You can see them. All right, 
So I'm going to try to divide these three fans. I'm going to try to tease it apart first with my fingers because I think it's a little less damaging. But if you can't get them, then you could always go to a knife or some clippers. All right, so there you go. There's one really big clump, and you can see that there is the bottom, there's part of the crown, and the stem. You want that for all of the sections that you're dividing. So if that means you can only do two, that's okay. Um, but sometimes you could get three or even more out of them. Now this same technique will work in daylilies that are in your landscape but I wouldn't dig them up this time of year. If you're watching when this is published, it's the very beginning of August and it's really hot. So I would wait on that until the weather cools off. All right, so again, I have some of the crown, some of the roots and the stem. All right, so I got three divisions out of that plant. Two of these are gonna fit in my little four and a half inch square pots. That's a little too much. And then this big is going to go back into the pot that he came in, which is a one gallon pot. Now, these plants that I'm putting into these smaller pots, I will up pot in the very beginning of the spring next year before they break dormancy. But these will be a little easier for me to care for throughout the fall and winter. All right, there's one. All right, there's fan number two going in, pushing those roots down. Now with all of these plants that you're dividing, any perennials that you're dividing, you don't wanna fertilize them right away. Normally when I pot up a plant, I would fertilize it right away. I would top dress it with some Floricon, but you don't wanna do that with these. You wanna give them a little bit of time. They're not ready yet for fertilizer. All right, now I'm going back to my one gallon pot for this bigger clump. Now this would be easier to do if these guys weren't so root bound. But oftentimes, when you're dealing with clearance plants, that's what you're going to get. All right, there's number three. Next on the agenda, let's tackle these coral bells. So just like the others, I'm gonna unpot it first. I'm gonna clip back this stem from where it flowered. Into the compost. All right, I'm gonna give this a, a squeeze. All right. All right, so these clumps, you could see, these clumps are not as root bound as some of the other plants. So I'm hoping that I could just separate them with my fingers and not have to risk damaging them by using the cutters. All right, so here's one little plant. 
All right, you could see it's got a piece of the stem. It's got a piece of the roots. There's a little crown in there. So he should do just fine. I'm gonna take off some of the soil so that I can see the clumps better. All right, there's another. Another, so that's three. Four. Five. And this last guy right here is six. All right, so six plants from just one. All right, I'm gonna just mix this up a little bit. All right, and all of these are gonna fit in my little square pots. So that's what I'll use. And these guys will leaf out in here in this hoop house where they have some sun protection. And I can monitor them to make sure that they are well watered and that they don't dry out. And then in about three to four weeks, I'll fertilize. It was supposed to be cloudy today and the sun has come out and it is so hot. I'm lucky that I'm in here and not doing this in the bright sun. Now you can use whatever potting mix you normally use. I use Sun Grows Sunshine Mix number four that I get from Lowe's. It's about $35 for three cubic feet. So it lasts a really long time and it's not expensive. But anything that you have on hand is just fine. And these are going to be big and beautiful come spring. All right, and last one this is the biggest one i could probably divide him again into two you could see that there's two clumps here. actually there you go <laughs> two more i guess really one more right
And there is some flower stems on here that I didn't see before. So I'm just going to go ahead and clip those. All right, last one. This one has a dead leaf on it. I'm going to go ahead and clip that off too. All right. There we go. All right, so I have some beautiful purple salvia. Now it pains me to do so, but I'm gonna have to pop these flowers off. But I have a little cup of water here, so I'm gonna save them and bring them in my house. All right, so just like the other plants, we give this a little squeeze. If you have trouble getting the plants out of the pot, you can always roll it a little bit too. I find that that helps. Let's see what we have here. Okay. Oh, I missed a few flowers. Sorry, flowers. All right, so you can see this one isn't as root bound as some of the others. I don't really even see too many of the roots. They don't feel like they're going to pull apart, so. And I'm using the serrated side. All right. All right, so there you go. You can see part of the crown there and the roots. And I have the same thing on this side. So now I'm gonna plant these two. I was hoping to get more than two, but I don't wanna risk breaking it any further. So I'm going to plant these in two bigger pots. Okay, so one of these clumps is going to go back in the original pot, and then I have another big pot that I'll use for the other clump. There's some dead branches from the middle of where this plant was. So I'm just going to clip those off. It helps if you take them out of your soil first. Sheesh.
There's one. And this other chunk will go in this nice pot right here. two down. All right, now I have this little grass. I find these on the clearance racks all the time, and they're great little ground covers if you need a ground cover. Um, so I'm going to divide this guy up and let him grow out. He, I have another little pot here, so I'm probably going to divide him in two and then put one clump back in this original pot, and the other clump will go in this other little pot. Give him a squeeze. Look at the roots coming out the bottom. Poor guy. All right. You can see all, all his roots. All right, so like the others, I am just trying to tease him apart. I got two really nice clumps here. Um, they're a little tangled down in the middle so much easier to work with small plants all right there we go so i got two nice size clumps both with roots i'm going to shove him back in this one you can see that his edges are all brown so he's going to be fine now that he is up potted. Tuck those roots down in there. little more soil for him all right two for one special right there that's what i'm talking about okay so not bad from the original five plants we made 14 plants plus i have three salvia cuttings two of them are branches that i accidentally knocked off and one is a stem of a flower i took the flower off i dipped all three in rooting hormone Use the same potting soil. I put them in a four and a half inch pot and I covered it with this plastic bag. This is going to stay in a shady area of my hoop house where it'll get plenty of bright light, but no direct sunlight, which would cook it. If these three cuttings take, I'll end up with 17 plants from those original five. If you got any value out of today's video, I would love to have you subscribe to my channel. I'm currently working on a series of plant propagation videos and I don't want you to miss it. Thanks for